Nigerians, waiting be on a problem. Come see one guy from my street fighting since morning. Say waiting happen. A landlord no one give a house again. A guy if now you, you go give give person house. Where we say they go give only you house under one week. You don't bring like twenty people inside the compound. Una go they make noise. Where you know say Ghana people no like noise. Ghana landlord they know they like noise. If now you you go happy. Moving forward to the girls, you you be girl where we say you don't call a house. You don't use person house as a hotel. You use that house as uh, a show quarter. We be say that every day you they exchange men for that house. If you be that landlord, you go happy. Nobody tell you say man, you know they do waiting, waiting, waiting you won't do. But if you go outside, go do waiting you won't do. Come back the house. Come back for your house. Come enjoy peace. Nobody say you go today. You go change coffee tomorrow. You go change another man. Different, different. My they change men like say you they wear clothes. Is it good? If you be that landlord, if 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 you you build your own house, person come collect your house. They do that kind of thing. You go, you go happy. I they ask you go you go happy. T tomorrow now you go come say eh, Ghana people no good oh. Ghana people they they like to they to they to they talk to person anyhow when they use their own money come rent house. This thing where now they do you good. See Nigerians. Mona come carry on her brother come off our street before they go kill him for that place. Welcome back everyone. I know I've done videos like this in time past, but it seems as if a lot of people do kind of think that maybe we are lying or it's not true what we are saying. If you're Nigerian watching me right now, see if you think that it's all rosy out there for a lot of Nigerians living in Ghana, the truth is, yes, they say a lot of persons is kind of rosy for, but you see this house matter before people get houses before nigerians get house in ghana it is extremely difficult so i came across this video very recently and i was like she be you they see with the person they talk we are not doing these things to kind of scare you we are just creating awareness to what is going on in ghana this is somebody now telling you what happened on our street and the landlord doesn't want to rent the house anymore to the nigerian what exactly happened the same bad behavior we've been talking about see when we understand cultural differences like what is acceptable in nigeria might not be acceptable in another country you can actually be living in your con in nigeria now and you have your cousins you have so many people living with you it is fine they might not say anything wrong with you but when you leave the shores of nigeria to go to another country the cultural difference is the cultural differences are there so learn about people's cultural differences and try to adapt don't try to force your own you know thing on the a people who don't are not used to what you do and you are in their land they are not the ones in your land so if you're in somebody's land try to accept their cultural differences even in nigeria there are landlords that will give you rules and if you don't abide by it sorry they're going to evict you in nigeria some can be okay we don't want pets we don't want this it's just a family they have sent a friend who told me that because she was going to be staying with her kids in a landlord's house the landlord said sorry i don't deal with single she's not even a single mom they said no i don't deal with uh, people i don't deal with uh, i deal with the men like the men i want the man should be the one to come but because the man was not available she don't know no green. She didn't. She couldn't get that house. So their landlords will have their rules everywhere. Now you're coming to another man's country, and it's always the same story. You rent out. If one person comes to approach you for a house, then the next minute, two weeks later, you will not see them go to go and pack all kinds of people. Why didn't you tell the landlord all of this from the very very beginning? Do you realize that there's going to be a wear and tear on that particular house and the landlord is not ready for that? Some of you are like, I paid the money, I paid the money, that you paid the money does not mean there are no rules to that house because if it was your own house, you might probably have done the same thing that landlord is doing because I've come to realize that a lot of people don't, they don't regard other people's things because it is not their own but when it now gets to them, they want you to be very very careful with their own thing so life is not all about that what you don't want somebody else to do to you do not do it to somebody else so yeah now and this is happening in a street before, before you know that the whole story goes out there and this is how these stories get to spread that that 
it gets to a point that a landlord that it has not even happened to just hearing about it they don't want to have anything to do with you the truth is nigerians we don't have good name out there the last time i did a topic about this people were telling even in italy it's like even in the uk it's like that even in this is like that people do not understand that this is about somebody's maybe challenge from the home yes the society we have today is practically from the home the home the family mix up the the family unit mix up the society we get to see but people blame you like they call it on your country and it begins to affect every other person that tries i might have my own very genuine reasons why i'm coming to ghana because of those who just come there to misbehave and do all sorts of things you remember look at what this lady is saying now about ladies who now come rent that rent out rent apartments and they told them to mini motels and all of that is it fair like can't you go and do anything you want to do outside and nobody because if you're not hey you say what is your business it's not about what is my business it's about doing whatever thing you want to do go and do it outside how will somebody read house to you and you turn it to whatever thing you want to turn it to and you think that you the image now you've created about your country anybody will want to have any dealings with you anymore there are a lot of good nigerians out there but it's unfortunate that the bad ones the bad the little 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 bad eggs now have so spoiled a lot of things that people don't want to have anything or a lot of people not everybody because there are still a lot of Ghanaians who still have business dealings with nigerians and they are fine with it but it's just always very painful that things like this get to spread more than the good ones Nigerians are still one of the best people to come out of Africa. Anywhere in the world, you get to see Nigerians doing so fine. But the media doesn't seem to project all of that. Look at somebody just won um, another Guinness World Record on the longest week. A Nigerian did that. The chess player guy, Tunde Ono Koya, if I'm not mistaken, made Nigeria proud. Fire away New York where he played chess for 60 hours. So there are a lot of Nigerians. Look at Kwelumi who also drove all the way solo driver from the UK to Lagos. These are great Nigerians doing a lot of great things. Look at uh, the footballer, what is the Ademola Lukman who gave me this, uh, his club win, what was it called, the, the cup just last weekend or so scoring three goals that's another nigerian but it's so unfortunate that when you now go into these countries carrying the nigerian passport just feels like you're carrying one kind of like if you get to travel you know that nigerian passport is just carrying a passport nigerian they, they want to scrutinize you more than every other person because of what some i'll still keep using the word some because not everybody is like that some persons i have done and imagine neighboring countries having that effect too that they don't even want to have anything to do with you so if you're in nigeria here watching me and you intend coming to ghana like nobody's going to say do not come though even when you come say oh nigerian ah i'm on niger ah they already have a perception about you so you even need to be extra careful when you're doing anything because even when you are genuine because there's already a perception about you and your people they are looking at you and telling, eh, see i'm another scammer like you can even be doing maybe you want to do a momo transfer now and momo no work because you're in nigeria now they're already looking at you with your eyes and you won't scam me ne? that is how you people do not realize the damage you have caused to your own fellow brothers and sisters and like i said the world does not look at you as an individual they look at you as a country they look at you with the eye of the country you're coming from but unfortunately was it the country that made them like that no it's from the home the home the home sometimes i even tend to what with the way the world is even going right now sometimes i just try to imagine if a lot of parents failed it back then because what you did the effect of what we are seeing in the society today is as a result of the failed parenting that happened 10 20 years ago what is now going to happen with the current parenting we get to see now what is going to happen in the next 10 20 years uh, the way the society has so degenerated today what's going to happen in the next 10 20 years so if you're watching me out there as a nigerian please can we all stop this bad behavior because it is still media we are going to use to correct a whole lot of these things so if you want to move to ghana okay there's nothing wrong moving to ghana though i will always tell people <laughs> i did a video i think that was last week or where Ghanaians are also living ghana every day jackpot now is like jackpot is jackpot in nigeria even Ghanaians now they use the literal word jackpot jackpot is a yoruba term to run 
the Ghanaians use that word right now. That's how influential Nigeria can actually be. Like Jackpa, Nigerian Ghanaians actually use that word Jackpa right now. So if you know that probably you're coming to Ghana because you want to hustle, I would advise you to actually go to the Western world to go and hustle. Doesn't mean that you can't get job opportunities, but that job opportunity you're looking for, there are millions of Ghanaians also looking for it. So it is not really as rosy as it's painted for you. Oh, come. I've seen situations where people will tell you, ah, they promised me job. And that's another thing that gets to happen. They promise you guys jobs and you come and of course, <laughs> they will tell you the kind of job. Please always ask questions before you just carry your bags and say you're coming. They will just call you and tell you, oh, there's a job for you. There's an exciting job. Come Ghana. Everything is fine. Then you get to come and you realize that, oh man, the job where they, they call me for, it is not it at all. Some of you, because probably your parents, your family members had already celebrated that, ah, our picking don't they travel. The shame to not come back is dead. You now get to do some of these things you did not plan in your entire life to do. Please let, let not let don't be moved into pressure or don't be pressurized to do certain things against your convictions. That's just the truth because you are just spoiling the way for other people. There are a lot of I know a situation that happened now. I think it was a tailor or a fashion designer who was working for a Ghana, a Nigerian fashion designer. Something happened. It was not even the one. It was because they just that impression that Nigeria. They say it will be part of it. It will be part of it. Arrest him. That is how bad it is. So some of you have a lot of your family members or people you know now in prison in Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> things are really really happening sometimes it's good to just let it all out this is not from a place of hate it's from a place of caution like it's from a place of knowing that it is not as rosy as a lot of people think it is if you do not have any genuine business a job like your job is bringing you to Ghana or something or probably you have a business established business already or something i'll advise you not to bother coming except you're just coming on vacation because yeah ghana is always like okay we're a lot of nigerians okay i have money to want to travel and I, my money no reach uk no reach us you no reach europe money let me come to ghana ghana is always like the first point of call for nigerians who want to vacation so you can actually do that and go back but when you come vac- for your vacation you can you know scan and see what the place looks like ask questions ask questions it, because <laughs> ask questions okay when you ask questions you will know that it is not as rosy as a lot of people paint it so please it's not fair that everything is always rubbed on nigeria look at the ladies saying a nigerian man that is always the case nobody calls you by your parents name or by the name you're bearing they call you by your country name and that is how our profile keeps going down down and down for how long is this gonna happen so the nigeria you and i want to see actually begins with us we blame our leaders for everything how are you better than the leaders you blame how have you shown a different example from the leaders we actually blame so this is to everyone watching me out there i know a lot of nigerian uh, Ghanaians are going to come to my comment section to also complain about their own different experiences i understand your plight so well but i will always say something let's not generalize there are still a lot of i am a good Ghanaian, nigerian a very good one my family is good Every, all the places we've lived in ghana we are still living in ghana we don't misbehave like i am good with my landlord my husband is good with our landlord it doesn't even stay so much in the house anymore he travels he wants us to pay bills he just calls us and we send the money to him we've not had any single challenge and there are a lot of nigerians who also live in ghana who have who are well respected so i feel like let's not still generalize that's the truth i know there are a lot of bad eggs they, they are no doubt in every 12 there's a judah yes it's just that our own is more pronounced because we go out there yes because that you want to tell me that every human being out there is good that's not true we've met very terrible persons but i feel like <laughs> we've met very terrible persons from different nationalities that's the truth scammers are everywhere this one is every everything is everywhere stealing is everywhere like st- stealing everywhere for of from every 12 there's always a judah that's the truth in fact these days in the back of in the days of jesus there was only one judah if you want to look at it in the eye of today 
in every two of those should be like four or five judah judases yeah that's the truth this is not me like um yeah, this is not me justifying anything this is just me telling you that everybody should just be conscious so that is all i have to say if you're nigerian watching me please our advice if you want to actually come to ghana come to ghana with good intentions if you <laughs> it's not rosy here that's the simple truth that is the reality i know we try we paint a lot of things good which is right we are pan we are all african countries like we must tell you okay this place is good this is this is this day but if you're coming to stay you have to hustle you have to work hard it's not as rosy it's not rosy at all anywhere as far as not africa in no rosy now abroad you go if you go you know you feel do some kind of work and you earn money you know good money in ghana and nigeria the pay grade is almost the same thing and guess what it is even more expensive in ghana so if you're any hundred thousand in nigeria and you're any one thousand cities in ghana the one thousand cities in ghana and the hundred thousand in nigeria you spend the hundred thousand better than you spend one thousand cities in ghana that's the simple truth that is the simple truth so if you want to come <laughs> if you want to come do your holiday and go back that is what i can say but you want to now start causing issues for others you saw the video i did about chibi who couldn't get house for seven months chibi has been on the streets of ghana he couldn't get house that is how bad it is for a lot of persons like i know families that have had to go back they had to go back to nigeria they felt like it was all rosy they had to go back and there are still many more that will return as more are coming there are more that are going back so do you want yourself to it's better you're even at home you have family you have friends you have people you can relate with when you are out there and you don't have anything you start to think of very dirty things to do and for how long are you gonna live your life like that so that is why i'm doing this video to like tell you that um, you know it's you anywhere in the world it is not as easy as it's painted but if you want to try it out why not you can actually do that let it not be that oh she's discouraging us she she did there she no not make any other person oh yeah come now but if you're nigeria living in ghana come and share your experience in the comment section no and if you're a ghanaian landlord please what has been your experience with nigerians like you can also drop it so that people will not think that maybe people are just formulating these things and posting them online okay thank you so much everyone those of you watching me in ghana and nigeria listen carefully i'm here with chibuke chibuke is from chibuke are you from nigeria i'm from nigeria yes so chibuke came to me i'm a dummy you can see that chibuke said ghana boy ghana boy i've been in ghana for 10 months i have money in my bag i'm looking for a room to rent but nobody wants to rent room for me in ghana when they hear i'm nigeria man chibuke is it true it's true in top of this bridge now so where do you sleep where do you sleep now. You I sleep on this bridge. Yeah. You have money. You don't. You can't rent a house in Ghana. Why? I don't know. They say that I'm here from Nigeria. Nigeria. They, they don't like some people in Nigeria. I don't know the reason why. So now, so now, what do you have to say? I don't have nothing to say. Oh, you have nothing to say.